Happy, happy Monday, everyone. It's Weather for Weather Geeks time here on the 11th day of January 2021. Another fairly uneventful day weather-wise today, but we've got plenty of interesting things to talk about this evening, so let's not waste any time. We'll get right to it. First thing of note today, today begins the process of our sunrises getting earlier in the morning. Our sunrise at 747, we had that for several consecutive days, but today's sunrise was at 746, starting that process that takes us, of course, into the spring and early summer. Seven o'clock sunrises are about, what, six weeks away on uh, February 26th. And just before the time change in March, we'll see a sunrise at 637. Then briefly, those sunrises, of course, will skip ahead an hour before backing up fairly quickly once we get into March and April and we're gaining daylight at a very, very rapid pace. So a little bit of good news on an otherwise kind of a just a ho-hum blah January day. You know, when you look at the month as a whole, none of these numbers are crazy high. Our warmest temperature so far this month was back on the 2nd, it was 45. But it's been consistently warmer than average, high temperatures and low temperatures. And so through the first 11 days of the month, pretty impressive uh, number here, 6.3 degrees warmer than the average. Of course, we've had very little snowfall so far this month, and I think we'll get away with the first half of January, uh, basically easily under an inch of snow in, in, in most areas, just trace amounts. And so th through today's date, uh, 5.8 inches below the average is where we stand for January. Now for the season, we're still about 8 inches above the average. And we're, of course, well ahead of last year's pace. Last year through today's date, we had 20.1 uh, inches. And now our seasonal snow, snow total stands at 32.9. Again, average through today's date is about 24 inches. So a lot of people, uh, it's it's easy to forget, considering how uneventful January has been, it's easy to forget how eventful December was. It was pretty snowy, of course, in the month of December. All right, something about January 11th in recent years. Back in 2017, it was in the 50s, very balmy day. Then we set a new record high on this date in 2018 with a high of 62. And then last year, we smashed that only two-year-old record with the warmest January day on record, 70 degrees on this date back in 2020. Pretty remarkable stuff, and unfortunately, something we're not going to see in this kind of a pattern anytime real soon. All right, some chilly rain showers in the southeast this evening, flurries in the northeast. Otherwise, yeah, not much to talk about across the nation once again. I think it'll be a little bit cloudier the farther north you are tomorrow, with more in the way of sunshine the farther south you are. It may end up just being a mostly sunny day in places such as East Liverpool, while Kinsman and Greenville might end up being another fairly uh, cloudy midday and afternoon. But uh, the story for midweek, while the weather stays quiet, it is going to warm up, not to 70, but we'll get into the 40s Wednesday and Thursday. Here finally is our next weather maker on Thursday. This cold front is still well off to our west, but it'll swing through on Friday, producing probably a couple of rain and snow showers, nothing that's all that high uh, impact at this point, and over the weekend, the air will be cold enough for flurries and snow showers, a couple of disturbances rotating through. Small accumulations for the weekend? Eh, maybe. But uh, I don't see anything uh, that uh, really is setting my hair on fire at this point as far as uh, impactful winter storms anytime in the next week. And so, yeah, we're going to be well up into the 40s Wednesday and Thursday, and then a retreat back to average for the upcoming weekend, but it's just back to average. It's not like this is going to be a pattern flip that's going to send us way below average. So we have a very seasonable weekend coming up, especially on Sunday. And then beyond that, it really doesn't look that cold early next week. Now, beyond this 10-day period, as we get into, oh, beyond Inauguration Day, beyond the 20th, 21st, into that last week to eight or nine days of January, there may be some opportunities there for some days to be a few degrees colder than average. But I don't think it's more than that at this point. I don't see any kind of a pattern through the end of January that is going to produce the kind of days where we have temperatures no higher than the teens or anything like that. As we uh, look at the overall pattern here in the coming days, it's favorable and not so favorable. It's favorable because we've got a ridge poking up along the west coast by late this week. That's going to allow a system to dumbbell into the middle of the country, and this is what helps to drag the colder air out into the eastern part of the U.S. But it's kind of a transient thing, and that ridge along the west coast is actually going to break down as we go uh, towards the 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, and that's going to keep, that's going to uh, make make it so the cold is centered out here across the Rockies, Pacific Northwest, even into the Southwest. So here's the 21st. There's the center of the cold out here. Now, we've got some cold air up in Canada, and this is not a warm pattern for us, but 
with the core of the cold kind of dumping out here instead of down across the Great Lakes, you're just not going to get the kind of uh, kind of uh, pattern that's going to produce any sort of harsh cold. And some of the longer range modeling uh, starting to come into focus now for February. Now, today's only the 11th. Let's take February forecasts with a grain of salt. But some of the longer range modeling is looking pretty warm in February. And uh, that idea would go along with our overall winter forecast, which suggested that uh, there would be points in, in January and February where it would be very, very toasty compared to the average. We haven't seen that come to fruition just yet in January. Yes, it's been consistently mild, but nothing crazy warm. Uh, maybe maybe the crazy warmth will come in February. We'll we'll talk a lot more about February as we get a little bit closer. Just uh, just a couple of uh, things I'm throwing out there, uh, looking at some of the, the real longer range modeling. All right, that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching tonight's Weather for Weather Geeks. I will see you back here on Tuesday.